Okay, highlights from today's trading at uh, greatstockpicks.com in our chat room. We had Facebook as one of our bounce play watch list stocks for today. Um, you know, it's not a lot of chart to go on, but it's certainly ugly and overdue for a bounce. Okay, add today's candle and you can tell sold off and got a nice reversal. All right, here goes intraday candles. Now, as a bounce play, typically what I would like to see is a stock that's been decimated like Facebook. I would like to see it open up like this and then just chop around sideways in a pretty narrow range, right, for a couple hours and then break out. Then you've got an entry and a pretty tight stop. Okay, that's not what Facebook did. Um, but one of our all-stars, BTurk, went ahead and announced an entry right around here, 2707, low of day stop. And uh, look at that, great entry, great entry. Um, and and uh, Facebook, actually, I talked about this in another video I made today, gave a great lesson. When you have what I call panic buying, which you did, people, uh, nobody wants to be the last one, uh, or nobody wants to miss the bottom in Facebook. Everybody's been watching it, talk of the markets, right? So. Um, once it finally gets going, you literally did have, I think, panic buying. And uh, watch this blue line here, the five-minute candle, eight-period moving average. When you have what I call volume and passion or panic buying, that is a great area to watch for pullbacks if you missed it. Okay, If you feel like, oh, man, I already missed it, look at this pullback. That's not an errant tick. It literally came down there. On one-minute candles, you can see it. Could have grabbed some right there to join with your stop uh, pretty tight below it, right? And then it goes up. Comes close to the high of the day. Sellers come in again. Watch that blue line, the 5.8. Boom, right there again. Okay, this is panic buying. That's a great way to grab some if you feel like you missed it without chasing. And if it doesn't work, you put your stop, you know, slightly below that. You go to one or two minute candles. That's how I do it. And uh, takes out the high of the day. Starts lighting up the new highs ticker. And then one more visit to the, uh, the eight period moving average on fives and then just closes strong. Um, anyway, beautiful call by B Turk at 2707. Anyone in our chat room that followed him uh, made a kill today. I know I saw him sell some for uh, two bucks a share. All right, um, what else was called in there? Uh, let's see. TJX. Um, this isn't huge, but I'm still proud of the call because TJX was super strong um, and just really getting ahead of itself here. And on this pullback, another example of the 5 8, right? The 8 period moving average. Um, five minute candles. I went ahead and called this, uh, what was the idea? Oh, I'll show you. I actually switched to two minute candles for an entry. Okay, and then just to try to get in as close to that moving average as I can, 42.43 was the long, worst case stop, 42.37. Six cents risk from 42.43, it moves up to um, 42.73. So a 40 cent move on six cents risk. Now, I mean, that's not a huge trade. It's not a Facebook B-Turk type trade, but uh, very, very low risk and a good example of how to use those candlesticks and moving averages. Um, yeah, I missed the big move there, um, but was still able to play a nice trade on the second move. Um, looking at my notes here. Uh, another another idea I gave out today, and I'll be honest, I didn't use a great, I didn't do a great job of using a projector. Um, so I, I verbally gave this idea out to, and I'll, I'll share it with you. Um, I have vowed to our members to use the projector a lot more often going forward. If I see something, I'm going to project it so everyone can see it. Much better learning experience. I don't know what was wrong with me today. I didn't use the projector much. Uh, maybe I was tired. The hockey game went into overtime, but it still wasn't that late, so I don't know what was wrong with me today. But um, my idea on PIR, okay, first of all, it just gets decimated here, but then a very nice bounce. This is the eight period moving average. This is an area where sellers are going to come in or should come in if it's going to go back to the low of the day. Once these sellers seem to be failing, okay, in other words, it was holding up well here, my verbal idea was over this candle. I said 1613 or maybe 1614 um, with a 1602 stop. Now, this doesn't look like much, but look at this. There's the trigger. And, you know, these are two, or no, I'm sorry, these are five minute candles, okay? 1614, 1602 stop. So 12 cents risk. And uh, within about 10 minutes, it's up over 1650. Again, some nice money in your pocket. So there's another example of the kind of trades I try to find. CAVM, um, this had a very nice move. I always tell everybody, keep your eyes open for shape, okay? Um, what do I mean by that? This right here isn't shape. It's what I call plankage. It's just planking, okay? You're not gonna get a lot of trades out of that kind of action, but look what uh, CAVM did here. And our chat room does a great job of finding shape because there's so many people looking for it. But okay, CAVM, their shape, you see it versus the plank. Okay, now 
on the pullback here. Um, I projected it when it looked like this, told everybody this is a little too thin for the room. I like stocks to average a million sh uh, shares a day or better, preferably considerably more than a million a day. CAVM did not meet those parameters, but uh, as I said, I try to use the projector to show ideas uh, because an individual can still make money on these. Somebody running a chat room with 250 people in there every day, um, I've got to be responsible and make sure I don't call thin stocks or you know, as an official call because we can move that stock ourselves just with our members in the chat room. So I just turned on the projector and said that this is nearing um, the 520, which is one of my favorite buy zones after a strong move. Okay, didn't have the passion of Facebook, so this is where I'm looking to go long and look at the turn there. Look at the turn, so absolutely nailed it. Um, did not take this trade myself. It had three or four cent spreads, but uh, still a pretty good example of what we try to do in there. Um, Geez, that might be a dish. I pointed out, not Disney, let me try that again. I pointed out dish when it looked like this. Um, just kind of a simple strategy here. This thing's just selling off, selling off, getting volume all of a sudden. And uh, if you notice, it's around 27.60. Look at the daily. Um, right there was the 200 day moving average. It was piercing it at the time. Oftentimes you can get a nice quiet reversal there, especially when you have that potential final push down volume look. So a beautiful turn there. Some of our members took that as well, and Dish moved up, I don't know, over a few hours, maybe 50 or 60 cents. Um, and then I'll show you one that I called. The, the only one I had a losing trade on today was ELN. Again, shape, right? Passion, volume. Um, sorry, on the pullback here, I called it long. I don't have this in my notes, um, but I can show you. I was looking between these two, basically somewhere around 1427. The stop was, I think, less than a dime. Um, looking for it to turn and head back up. Whatever the news was that caused this shape obviously turned out not to be so great. So I did lose about a dime on that one. All right, but the rest of them, uh, just about everything else worked today. Um, that's what I have in my notes. I'm sure there were other calls. Uh, but anyway, hats off to Beter. He's definitely the all-star of the day. Um, and we'll leave it at that. Talk to you guys soon.